Hey okay guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Ultimate Media Center Guide. Now, in this video I'm going to show you guys a real, really, really quick run through of the settings in Xbox Media Center and also we're going to customize our backdrops and animate the backdrops. So to do that we need to set up a folder like this, save it somewhere safe on your computer and create a new folder and name it Backdrops. I would probably suggest say Documents or something. Inside the backdrops folder you need to create a folder like these for each of the different menus that you can have within Xbox Media Center. So under movies you would obviously have a movies folder, music, pictures, plugins, etc. So under my movies folder you can see here I've got a whole collection of just only movies backdrops. They're all 1080 um, 1920 by 1080 resolution. The key to this is by having high resolution backdrops and the reason for that is because you want them to scale well onto a TV if you're going to have this hooked up to your TV. Don't get really small pictures because they're just going to end up really blurry. So you can either do what I did and start a collection by going around different websites and saving high definition pictures or you can choose to go to my website at thegeekstreet.com or just google search the Geek Street. And I've created a backdrops page for you guys where you can go there and get backdrops that I have. Now we'll be updating this page so you can check back to see if there's anything new. Um, but for now I've just uploaded the basics, what I have set up at the moment. So you can see here if I scroll down under movies you can either choose to download these individually by clicking on an image and then right clicking and saving to your computer or you can just click the zip file for each of the categories as you see here. So if I click that it's going to download the zip file for movies etc. If you want to do the TV shows there's a zip file for that and for music and for pictures. Alright, so once you have that all set up, you need to go into Xbox Media Center. You have all your backdrops saved to your computer, they're all in their own files. And you can see here I've already customized my background. If it's a little jittery, it's just because of the recording software, but it actually runs really smooth. Now, um, one thing that you might notice is that my background is animated so it's focusing in and out and panning across the screen that's an option that we're going to select shortly and also I have obviously customized the different backdrops so first things first we need to go into settings and we're going to run right down to main menu and first of all we're going to go to populate home menu select that and you can see here I've deactivated games. This is where you activate and deactivate different menus within the media center. Um, you can see I've turned on shutdown, weather, stuff like that. I don't have games on because I don't have games to show you guys, so I chose not to have them. Now, uh, once you've picked the different menus that you'd like, then go back into it and run down to menu to home and select use animated backgrounds that's to have it pan and zoom in and zoom out all these other different options they're all sort of personal preference you can once you're familiar with the skin come back into here and change a few things up and get XBMC looking how you like now furniture and time feeds just quick run through on this click on it if you click it keep click it you can move that menu up and down if you push right you can move the time up and down and if you push right again you can move about the RSS feed. Now later in my video series I'll show you guys how to customize the RSS feed. Uh, but for now we're just looking at this. So now what we want to do is customize our backdrops. So select backdrops and under each of these options you have a folder. So for movies I select movies. Now if I push up it's asking me whether or not I want to select still image so just that one image it's not going to change nothing's going to be different so I want to push down and that's for a slideshow folder now search on your computer for your backdrops folder and this is obviously the movies category so I'll select my movies folder and select OK and it will change now go through and do each of your different menus
and you'll end up having your menus look like that and they'll be all completely changed nice and customized and it'll be looking really good now quick run through these settings videos you don't need to change um, the default movie scraper is fine you can have a look in there for yourself and mess around with it a little bit if you'd like but because we're going to be scraping all our movie info with a software called Ember Media Manager we're not going to need to change any of those options now this is one option that I choose to have off and it's because I don't like a thousand artists also my default music scraper I changed to last FM so just keep clicking on it until you get to last FM if you'd like to use last FM as your scraper update library on startup that's for every time I come into Xbox Media Center it's going to search for new music or search for new movies again you can choose to have that on but I'm going to choose not to today and the rest of the stuff we can have a look at later weather pictures is self-explanatory weather go into that and all you got to do is type in where you're from it searches online for your location and your weather forecast and that's it that's all you need to do to set that up now there is a weather plugin and I'm not going to show you guys that because I have a feeling when the new build of Xbox comes out XBMC comes out the that is due in 11 days from now things are going to change so I think I'll cover that in a few weeks um, appearance is where you change your skin if you download another skin and you put it in the skin folder you can change different skins so that's a good option um, you can set up your own account but I don't do that because I don't bother um, but if you'd like to do that you can mess around with that it's really easy again most of these things are self explanatory um, the last option is advanced and this is the Aeon 65 options now basically I allow scrolling for plot and buyer review info um, you can choose whether you want the U trailers thing but I get my trailers I download my trailers and save them to my computer so that they're locally um, none of these really need to be changed and again just run through these have a read of what it says and once you're familiar with the skin then you can have a play around with these things now I do select this, this is the Activate CD Art and also Alaska Pause Label. These are just another personal choice of mine that I like. So that's what I'm going to have activated. Now also we'll just have a quick look in Media Browser. Again I'm only running through these really quick so I only have a short amount of time on this video. Um, and just have a look at that yourself too and have a play. You can see I've selected slide animation, stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. You should have your Media Center set up should be looking really good um, thanks for checking out part two part three I will cover adding movies and adding our media to Xbox Media Center also using Ember Media Manager which is the software we're going to use to archive all our information for our movies so check it out thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and support me by visiting my website cheers